Hello gorgeous souls, it's Mary Rose from PsychicSoulmateReading.com. This video is a three card tarot reading for what we need to know in our week ahead. For anybody that is watching this, this reading is meant for you. You landed on here, so the message is intended for you. And it doesn't matter, even if you're watching this like way after the date that I filmed it, it doesn't matter because the reading and the message is still intended for you. That's the way spirit guides work. And I've been doing this for a really long time and it's always the same. Um, right now, I'm actually at a local coffee house in my area, and um, I've visited a couple of times, a few times actually, and this is the first time I'm actually filming. You, you saw my videos um, in a Starbucks, but I didn't feel like going to a Starbucks. I said, why don't I just go to my neck of the woods? And it's a really great, I, I mean, I love it. I got a really great cup of um, uh, latte and latte and it's amazing and I just I'm really happy that I'm here so I've already saved us some time and I've dealt the cards the cards that I'm working with today are the Throth Tarot actually it's uh, by, they're by Aleister Crawley and um, I've gotten these cards like hmm I, they were a gift for me uh, to me from someone in 95 and um, as you can see they're really old and worn <laughs> and they're really big and my hands can um, shuffle any cards so um, I just I've been working with them for a really long time and I just love them okay so the cards that I uh, that we got the first card is the two of swords and the two of swords is telling us that we might have been feeling maybe a bit um, confused or like at a crossroads you might be feeling you're at a crossroads with something in your life right now you, you're holding on to two things at one time two things are are facing you and you're looking at something and you're saying there's something that I need to do or you're trying to figure something out the more you try to figure it out the more you're gonna feel uh, stagnate if you overthink it you're actually going to convince yourself to take the wrong um, the wrong option the wrong choice so instead of trying to figure it out so much you need to just let it go and just surrender the fear because fear is what blocks us and holds us back from what we um, from from our highest good okay and I always say that and I'm, I talk about that all the time about how when we feel blocked our fear uh, we, we create um, stories in our minds and the stories are actually something that is just triggers sometimes and it just it makes us feel more worse you know if that makes sense and sometimes we're always worried about what another person's thinking about us and how we're feeling you know sorry about the noise in here it's a bit noisy it's a bit it's a well, I'm filming this on this the Sunday the day before I, I upload it so you know anyways it's all good it's all good everything is um, telling you a message telling you that if you're getting triggered by anything sometimes it's actually something not not the actual person that's triggering you it's actually the person's actually just opening up the door that's something that's been inside of you for a really long time and I've experienced that um, lots of times right and you know it's not uh, to say you actually have to be grateful that you got triggered because it's a time and an opportunity for you to release it and I know that that's really hard to understand but that will be another um, maybe another tutorial video that I or something that I'll talk about later on maybe in a live or something but anyways what I'm trying to say is that you're at a crossroads and you know what take the stand and take some time out for yourself to relax and surrender it and just allow the the energy just to just come through and don't don't worry about where it's going just you know the more you overthink it the more you're going to block yourself from picking the right thing that you want to do okay I'll put the, the rest of the cards together because everything is um, kind of like it they all go together and so the second card is the four of cups and the four of cups is actually stagnation like it's actually procrastination it's actually boredom it's it's passive energy it's kind of like you know you could be doing something with your time with your energy rather than worrying about something because it kind of makes sense with, with swords you know um, if you're thinking about relationships and love well the more you try to figure someone out the more you're going to procrastinate and nothing's going to happen see when we raise our energy and when we meet um, vibe high we attract love into us because we are made out of love I always say that we're all ma we're always made out of love and when we're spiraling downward we actually um, push away all the good stuff that we um, that's entitled for us right so 
actually what the Four of Cups is telling you is to do something that raises your vibration, do something that makes your heart sing, right? Um, switch it up a little bit, you know, if there's something that you've been wanting to do, go do it, you know, if there's something that you've been thinking about, go do it, you know, don't, don't procrastinate, and I know, you don't need me to say, or somebody that's on the screen, if you're just watching this and saying, who's this person telling me, don't procrastinate, it's a message. Things are coming to you um, for a reason, and I'm just channeling them. I'm just a facilitator. I'm just the male woman. I'm just giving you the message, and that is what I'm getting. It's something that's emotional, and you know what? St whatever you're doing, it's not to say that you're doing it wrong. It's just that what's happening is that you're looking in the wrong direction of something. Like a person, maybe you're worrying too much about how do what do they think of me? Uh, or are they are, are they going to call me? Um, is this person does this person love me? Or um, is this person really true to me what, like like you're thinking of all you're having all of these things um, in some way I mean take a grain take it for whatever resonates with you leave what doesn't okay so it's like you're getting something that's actually telling you that you need to just put down your burdens and you know take a stand and do something for yourself love yourself I always say that okay and the third card is the ten of Pentacles I love this card it's one of my favorite cards of the deck actually the ten of Pentacles represents wealth but wealth isn't so much of how much money we have um, our finances wealth is um, abundance and wealth is about how much we have and abundance is not all of, only about money abundance is about how much uh, time we have in the day and how much we got going and you know um, you know like things giving uh, you're getting a message okay and you know, this message is telling you have everything you need you are completely fully capable of accomplishing what you want and maybe you need me to say this to you but you are worthy and you got to use those affirmations I am worthy I am beautiful you got to take what you want and just do it like earlier today I I was a little discouraged. Uh, I was like, oh, it's I don't feel like going to Starbucks to film or oh I don't you know, I was making all these these excuses. My place is a bit of a mess, you know. <laughs> uh, my cat's been a little well, he's he's getting better. Garcia's getting better and Dave wasn't feeling well today, so it was like everything has just been like in an uproar. You know how we you know how it is. It's not bad. It's not nothing negative. It's just everything that happens to me is a part of the reading that, that I give and that's the way it always is even with the person that I'm reading I always say okay something happened so what I was feeling earlier was I'm not sure if I want to film today and I was like but tomorrow is the day that I that I post the uh, weekly reading and I, I really want to do it and I yeah with my all of my heart wants to do it right but I was thinking uh, but I was like why don't I just go to the coffee shop okay let me just go and so I just you know surrendered and I just took everything and it is busy here and noisy and I said you know what I'm just gonna do it with all my heart and uh, hopefully you guys can hear me I have a mic here so um, you know like what I'm trying to say is that we get these nudges to tell us don't allow the negative stuff to just you know push you back and also um, we also get things in our minds so I'm getting this song in my head I've been getting this song I celebrated my week of my birthday last weekend with my sister and uh, I think you see me my stories on um, Instagram stories and, and everything and I'm probably gonna post something on IGTV and my live that I did at Niagara Falls so anyways the song that keeps going on in my head is um, Dancing Queen by Ava <laughs> keep hearing it over you can dance and you know I thought that once I give the message where it needs to go to everybody I was telling everybody about it all my clients it usually stops playing in my head but it's playing again now so I'm taking this as a message for you guys uh, dancing queen which which means the life of the dance of life right it's not necessarily dancing well yeah go ahead, go ahead and dance and live it up a little dance is a uh, the dance of life you can dance so that's what's telling you you know even if you don't know how to dance you know if you can go like this you know go with the rhythm a little bit you know what you can dance doesn't matter dancing is just the dance of life right it's the flow and you need to maybe put the music up and just do some dancing and some singing, right? Just to raise your vibration. Music elevates it. So that's probably the message. And I know that that's the message. Not probably, but it is, okay? And love yourself. Like, I'm looking at this beautiful little heart that's in here. I don't know if you can see it. I'm, I had almond milk in my latte, which is hard to make anything. <laughs> But anyways, that's the message for you, okay? So I hope that that was helpful for you. And if you're interested in getting a longer reading, please visit my website, PsychicSoulmateReading.com. Until the next video, I wish you all peace, blessings, love, and light. Namaste.